I'm Dr. Varon Ramsaran. I am originally from Pichamarasburg, which is in the Midlands in KZN. I am a group leader in the host genetics group. So my group focuses on finding out genes that associate with HIV disease. Coming back home was a difficult decision. And I decided to return because in Harvard University or in anywhere else I, I would have been, I would have just been another researcher. So I feel I'm having a greater impact in terms of research locally than I would be having internationally. Furthermore, the labs here are as good as the labs internationally. So I feel I can deliver the equal or if not even better research than what I would be doing internationally. My recent paper was looking at HLA-A expression levels and associating that with HIV disease. And it was through the inhibition of NK cells. Traditionally, we thought that these molecules present pieces of the virus, pieces of peptide onto the immune system, and they come and kill it. Now we're learning through my research that these molecules also have additional roles by down-regulation other molecules to change disease progression. And this was through the inhibition of NK cells. So these are our natural killer cells that go and kill HIV. So my research started off by designing a set of primers to try and find out the expression levels. So this was the difficult aspect of doing this research, was trying to find out how to measure the expression levels. So basically my research shows that we have a biomarker for disease progression. So increased expression of HLA-A with a specific genotype associates with faster disease progression, which means that an individual would progress to AIDS at a much faster rate. So this is really relevant in South Africa because approximately one third of the population has this genetic makeup. So they can progress faster to HIV or to AIDS if they have this genetic makeup. So the future work and the next steps for this research is actually trying to see if we can stop HLA-A expression down-regulating our NK cells. So there's an, N there's an antibody that we can bind onto to stop this process. The paper was published in Science and I was the lead author on that paper. And it was very well received within the international scientific community as well as the local community. The press really liked this because it was published in 23 different media outlets. It made a lot of uh, local and international news. So the facilities in the environment within CRISP really assisted me because I was able to access samples that I could continue with this type of research, as well as I have the laboratory that I can actually use to do the future work and to continue with the type of research that I want to continue in. Thank you.